Hellblade is one of those games that I really enjoyed and it kind of immerses you into this very different, strange, eerie type of world. And what I got to say, guys, is that after beating the first game, and then, of course, watching the trailer uh, that came out for Hellblade 2, I am very intrigued and interested to see where this story goes moving forward. So I wanted to go ahead, guys, even though we've, you know, we still have, a, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this title. I wanted to go ahead and talk about everything that we know now about Hellblade 2 with some of the recent updates that have come up. So let's talk about it. In an article, guys, written by Rami Tabari of Laptop, here's everything we know about Hellblade 2. The first Hellblade 2 trailer made its surprise debut at the Game Awards back in December 2019 alongside the reveal of the Xbox Series X. It's unclear which direction Ninja Theory will go with Hellblade 2, but we're more than excited to see Senua back in action. What was most exciting about the reveal, apart from Hellblade 2's existence, were the game's incredible visuals, which were all presented within the game's engine. Even after the previous Xbox Series X games event, Hellblade 2 is the most next-gen looking game under Xbox's belt. Now the release date. There's no official release date for Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 and while we'd love for it to launch around the same time as the Xbox Series X, we don't think it'll show up this year or even early next year. And I gotta say guys, I agree with this because obviously we... Uh, with that Xbox, uh, you know, games showcase that came out, they really didn't show us anything for, for Hellblade 2. They basically just stated that most of the game is based ar around Iceland, and they, like, did a ton of, like, visuals and such, um, and a lot of their m capture in Iceland. And so that was, like, the main thing. They didn't really, they didn't give us a, a release date. If it was coming out with the Xbox Series X as a release, um, you know, launch title, we would have heard about that at the Xbox Games Showcase, but we didn't get that. Uh, this past Xbox Series X Game Showcase didn't talk about the release date of the game, but rather a release date of the second developer diary, given that Hellblade 2 seems to be in heavy development. I predict the earliest we might see it launches in late 2021, and I agree with that. Xbox has previously stated that gamers won't have to upgrade th to new hardware for a year, two years at least, as all games within that time frame will be available on Xbox. Xbox One and Xbox Series X, which is absolutely great. Now, as far as Hellblade 2 gameplay, unfortunately, we haven't seen any juicy gameplay clips of Senua Saga Hellblade 2, but we imagine that it's going to be a similar third-person action experience as Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Ideally, we'll see more gameplay improvements, such as adding more complexity to attack combos and making combat generally more intense with a variety of new enemies. For me, guys, look, the gameplay of Hellblade one. I I liked it a lot, right? I thought it was I thought it was great. My biggest issue with it was the length of the campaign. I just thought that the campaign was not long enough. Um, and especially when there's nothing else to do outside of the campaign after you're done beating the game. I mean, all you can do is really play it over and over again, or you, most likely you're just gonna move on to other games. So I just want there to be more things to do within this world of Hellblade, whether you're talking it being more of an open world experience where this one, you know, the first one was more of like a semi-open world setting, but it was still relatively a narrative experience. And so I, that would be one thing that I would really like change to, to move Hellblade 2 is more of an open world scale or at least more things to do along the journey, more things that we can do after we beat the, the, the title as a whole. And then, of course, the story. The sequel to Hellblade will once again take place in 9th century Iceland in a recent developer diary uh, revealed that Senua would seemingly make her way hundreds of miles across the country. In the aforementioned diary, Ninja Theory talked in depth about visiting a number of locations in Iceland and attempting to recreate those locations as authentic authentically as possible within Senua Saga Hellblade 2. The first game was about Senua accepting loss and coming to terms with her demons. We imagine that the second game will be about her continuing to deal with her psychosis, which would take us to a bunch of Norse mythological settings. It's entirely possible that the story of Senua Saga Hellblade 2 will be about the, uh, the character getting vengeance on the Norsemen who killed Dillian. And so... This story, guys, from the first game, obviously, there was a real heavy emphasis on the voice acting. I thought that they did a really good job with that, with the voice acting and, and some of the visuals that they had within the first game. I thought they did a great job picking the, the actors and the actresses. 
Um, it was a really interesting concept having, you know, your character that being uh, Sunua was kind of, de you know, dealing with psychosis was very interesting to say the least, a very different type of take on, you know, uh, on when it comes to a video game. But I, I gotta say, guys, that overall, I'm really excited about this title. I just want there to be a number of things to do along the journey. I want there to be more things to do outside of just the campaign itself. Um, you know, the campaign, you know, you could certainly play the campaign through with, within the first game and then go back through and play it once again and try to, you know, get, you know, kind of, uh, you know, there's certainly other things that you can do, but I just think it's really important that uh, moving into Hellblade 2, there's definitely those differences from the first game that can you coming back over and over again. Uh, they've got something special here, guys, in my opinion. When I look at it from a graphic standpoint, from a story perspective, it's different, but I think that they really need to build off of what they did in the first one, that being Ninja Theory, um, and, and kind of moving into this next one. And I mean, look, guys, it's being released on the Xbox Series X, obviously Xbox One, and, and then, you know, uh, Microsoft Windows. And so, you know, when you're talking more of a, uh, this, this actually being overall more of a exclusive title it's going to be really important that there's a bunch of ways that you can connect with this franchise outside of just the main narrative and main story and i, I gotta say guys the other thing that you know i, I really want to see moving into hellblade 2 is a variety of enemies that you're going up against. I thought that they did a pretty good job, a pretty nice lineup of, of enemies, but there was just a lot of moments throughout the course of the game where there were like significant lulls in the story um, or just lulls as far as like going from point A to point B. Not a lot of action at certain points, but then when the action starts, it's like, you know, it's almost over the top. There's just so much of it that I just feel like it needs to be more balanced, more spread out a little bit. I also think that, you know, having puzzles is fine, but but the first couple of doorways that you go through to get to uh, Helheim um, in the beginning of the game when you have to choose between those two gates um, or doorways and beat those, you know, demons to essentially move into the, the main gate to get to Helheim or go towards Helheim, I just felt that there was too many puzzles involved. It, it, you know, I like the concept of it, uh, but I thought there were almost just too many puzzles that you're trying to do. Instead, I think they need to balance it a little bit more between the action as well as, as doing certain puzzles. Um, but, you know, overall, guys, I thought the experience was very different. It was unique, and that was something I really enjoyed about this title. And like I said, I'm excited about the, about the next one. I'm just hoping that they improve upon some of those things from the first game to this one, more things to do along the journey. I'm not necessarily stating, guys, that Hellblade 2 has to have multiplayer and things of that nature. I think it would be one of those games that could be cool to play co-op, being able to play, like, co-op missions or something, where you're going up against waves and waves of enemies um, in a PvE kind of setting. Uh, but, you know, just more ways, guys, to connect with this franchise I think is going to be really important. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys want to see in Hellblade 2? Are you guys excited about it? Let me know. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Hellblade 2 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.